I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? God damn it. There's another request for Broad Stipe. Thank you so much for that. If anyone that wants to request any type of reviews or re-reviews or topics or reactions or reviews of movies or not movies or topics or reactions or lists or reactions or or you can request it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both are links down below in the info box. Incoming Fucking massacre, incoming suckitude. Yeah, this was his incoming suckitude, incoming fuckitude, incoming anus juices in your fucking face, incoming sperm that you rather have a Bukati, wear a fucking beard, look like fucking Santa Claus, only that ain't fucking white beard, it's a white something else. You know what this is? It's Scott Atkins' version of Scorpio 1. And people don't know what the fuck Scorpio 1 is. That's a Jeff Speedman film from Worf Teeter, the fucking purple people eater. That's a piece of fucking shit, which was Jeff Speedman on a space shuttle. And there's bad guys on there. Only imagine... You don't have Jeff Speedman's cool tempo. Instead, you have Scott Atkins having to slow him down, slow himself down from the people who are slower than him. Only have a handful of fights. Really jack shit of nothing else happening. And the last 10 minutes, uh, Stat is now a bad guy. Now he's a bad guy. Now he's like, I mean, he was an asshole. But now he's a bad guy. And now, no whistleblowers, bitch. That's his big line. And he's choking the wimpy female doctor who just hits him a couple times and then bashes his brains out off screen. And that's how Scott Atkins dies. You know, I watch stuff like this, and I sit there and I go, "What?" I can only imagine Scott Atkins did this because he needed the money. Which, sadly, I mean, the guy doesn't get big movie roles. Which is sad. Because they don't make movies like that on the big screen. Unless maybe it's John Wick, but you didn't. Know, not much. Maybe if it's a Liam Neeson film.
it's cheap. The sets look beyond generic. The acting is suspect from a lot of people. The story is such a been there, done that. It's in space. There's prisoners in space. Hell, I saw that in Fortress 2 back in the day with Christopher Lambert. And that's better than this. There was this terrorist cell called the Wolf Pack. I'm like, what, the NWO Wolf Pack? New, new, new world order. No, a different Wolf Pack. They attacked some targets. They got arrested. Years later, they're on an orbiting space station. Because, you know, I mean, the... The millions, 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 millions of dollars to fly, what, six people to outer, like five, I think it was like five people, five prisoners. They said six, but I think one is, is back there, so it's like five. Five prisoners in space? Really? You don't spend that much fucking money? For five people and a couple guards in space and the space the space station. You don't spend that much money. Um you can find a bunch of basements that do the same fucking job and I'll save you a shitload of money. <coughs> because you think okay, this is like some Fortress 2 shit where it's in the future and it's a s it's a prison in space or it's like a shitload No. Literally there's only like five prisoners and then a couple, like, guards and shit. Why does it have to be in space? How about in the fucking ocean? How about in a fucking basement? They have these things called prisons. I don't know if you've heard of it, movie. They're called prisons. It's not like we don't have any fucking prisons on Earth. That, you know, you could do the same shit. They don't, the prisoners don't even realize they're in space until later in the film. So. <laughs> why? So you can have the line, Geneva Convention doesn't apply in space. Is that why? Is that the only reason why? Why the fuck else is this in space? Why? Five, five prisoners. There's supposed to be six, but the Lord, oh, we did this to find the Alpha, but then you find out later, Sky Atkins tells him, oh yeah, three years ago, we found the Alpha, the leader, which is weird, they keep calling it Alpha, to like Alpha Dog, like the Alpha, no, Alpha and Omega, no, Alpha, the leader, they found the leader, why don't you just call it the leader? <clears throat> but, god damn, man. And nothing much happens in this fucking movie. <clears throat> After the, the opening set up. And then oh yeah they torture prisoners. In that space station. There's a ship that goes up there. There's a pilot. A female doctor. And Scott Atkins who works with. I think the CIA. The female doc doesn't like torture. She's the dumbest fucking person ever. This guy that she met for like five minutes, she goes into his shell, shell, she comes out of her shell to go into her cell, well her cell, you know what, she should be in a cell, that's how fucking crazy and stupid she is, she's so fucking stupid, here's a, a guy who's part of a terrorist organization, terrorist, blew up buildings, killed people, you talked to him for five minutes, you let him go. You free him from his cell. You should be committed to a fucking cell. And get back into your fucking shell. And don't come out ever, lady. You fucking idiot. You fucking dumbass. You fucking... <clears throat> Dumb bitch. So, of course, what does he do? He gets his buddies and they fucking take over. <clears throat> but 
then most of the film is Scott, female doc, pilot, and a little bit the, the warden, whatever the fuck he, his monitor was, talking, talking, talking about plot, 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 about plot, plot, fizz, fizz, what a fucking release this ain't. About the the Geneva... Oh, we you, you torture people up here. Well, you know what? We're trying to find the Alpha. Well, back on Earth, we found the Alpha three years ago. What? You found it three years ago? You didn't tell us? Who? I don't give a shit. If you found the tear for diabetes, the tear for AIDS, or the tear for the measles. I don't give a fuck. But wait a minute. I don't give a fuck about that either. But Matt, wait a minute. I don't give a fuck about that either. But then they do... Uh, wasn't there a tear for... I don't even care. This movie don't make you care. And why is it called Incoming? I don't even know... I, I guess it's called Incoming because the prisoners, their plan is to take the space station itself, fly it back to Earth to crash into Russia. I guess it won't burn in the atmosphere, but oh yeah. It's going to fly into Russia and, and Moscow and blow it up. You get dialogue. People love space junk. No one loves your junk, Alex. Wait, we talked about the same thing? How about you suck on my junk? And then when they do confront the prisoners, Scott Atkins can't be allowed to do anything. He's got to be slow because the other people are slow. So you got to start with a stick or baton just swinging wildly. You have this talented martial artist that I've seen what the guy can do. I just reviewed a film, Depth Collectors, The Depth Collector 2. Much better than the first film. And as much as I don't like the first Depth Collector, is still better than this. And you see what you could do, what he could do with fight scenes and choreography. And this is just a waste. This is a fucking waste. And I don't know what the director was fucking thinking. You tell me there's no martial artist you can fucking find. Hey, come play a role and have a scene with with him, with Scott Atkins. You tell me Scott, no one can find a gym and find some martial artists? Why not? Be better than this? At least just speed in Scorpio 1. I get to see him do a couple cool Kenpo moves. Scott Atkins can't do much but just swing wildly and fights are sh not worth a shit. Just nothing fucking happens. Run around dialogue. You let them escape. Well, you knew that Alpha was all on in on Earth. You let them escape. And then this lady, this female dot, got on my nerves so much. There's a point where Sky Atkins, he kills people with a knife. And the the, the female dot, she literally goes. The hell did you kill him? The fuck do you think, lady? No, he took him to the fucking prom. He took him to dinner. He took him to a fucking takeout. Took him to a fucking night out at the fucking drive-in. He took him to the courts of Hershey Highway. He took him to the factory of Willy Wonka. What the fuck do you think he, she, he, what the fuck do you think, lady? So Skyatis has to slow himself down. There's not many bad guys to fight. Like I said, there are five guys. He doesn't kill the main bad guy, so that's four guys. Um, I'm trying to remember if he took care of the other four. I can't remember. There's this one guy that he stabs and slits his neck. There's another guy that he pounces and stabs. That's two. I know one he stabs the shit out of. 
And then they finally confront, there's the head bad guy and another guy. Scott is fighting this other guy. He gets stabbed, Scott gets stabbed like seven times, but he barely feels anything. The pilot is trying to fight the bad guy and doing a shit job of it. A girl threw an explosive that killed the guy. The the guy that stabbed Scott Atkins. It was weird that she throws something, then it cuts away to the explosion, then that shot is the guy falling. I swear his stomach is missing or something. But it goes so brief I missed it. And then all of a sudden Scott Atkins is an all out bad guy. No whistleblowers bitch and hits the bitch. So then she follows Scott Atkins and confronts him. He sh he should be able to kill her easily. But no, she hits him with this fucking thing and bashes his brains in off screen. The pilot leaves the asshole. They both get in a shuttle. Meanwhile, people on the ground have shot a missile and they blow up the facility, the station. Along with the bad guy, ah, uh, and then while the other two get on the shuttle and get go to fuck home. Poor production values, poor effects, sets that I've seen better done on the original fucking Star Trek TV show. Uh, acting subpar, Star Atkins given nothing to do. Fight scenes, he's gotta slow himself down, there's not much fight scenes, and... They're poorly handled in a directing manner. And just a lot of run the same dialogue repeated, repeated, repeated. You let him go. Well, you knew that he was the, the alpha. You know. No, no dialogue to get into the characters. No dialogue for much levity banter. Unless, again, people love space junk. No one loves your junk. That type of banter. What's funny is if you find, if you look this up, go to Google, type in incoming Scott Atkins or incoming 2018. There are DVD covers that show Scott Atkins firing this, which he never does. Because he never fires a gun in the movie. That's right, he never fought... There's a, there's a cover where he fires, he has a gun, never fires a gun, and it's about a building with a clock explodes, and nothing in space. There's nothing space about the cover, even though it's a space movie. That building does explode at the very beginning of the film, and when the camera's this far away, and the building is, you see from about this big, that's how far the camera is, well, you know. If I can remember, I'll put it on here. Otherwise, I again, look online is pretty hilarious. Even the actual cover, which may be here, it just got actors going. Like, if if the picture's over there, it's got actors like, why am I in this movie? Can I be another Undisputed sequel? Can I do that? Can I do with Isaac Florentine or Jesse Johnson again? Please. Why do I have to do this bullshit? It, this is just easily one of the worst Scott Atkins films I've seen. Easily. This might be the worst. It really might be the worst. Because this is like when Jeff Speedman was stuck doing shit like Scorpio 1 and Memorial Day. I say Scorpio 1 because that was Jeff Speedman in the space station with barely any action, a bunch of bullshit. And even that's better than this. Because like I said, at least Jess Bieber did a little bit of his tempo, which looked better than the shit in this. And that's fucking sad. <sighs> fucking horrible. Fucking horrible movie. Just just a power of fucking nothing of a movie. Nothing. Stupid fucking characters like the female Dot that I wish the character would have died. 
a pilot, this the character who's a pal of fucking nothing. Good luck remembering him five minutes after the movie's over. And he barely did shit in the movie. But the movie wants to seem as if he's the lead character, but he barely does shit. He doesn't even defeat the bad guy the fucking lead the bad guy for the missile to do it. The 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 the, the pilot doesn't kill anybody. He barely fights anybody. This pilot does nothing. Except the pilot. I don't know. So with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.